guys. So today I'm going to show you how you can erase a background on an image on your iPad. It's really easy to do. It's actually easier to do it on your iPad than it is to do it on your computer. So it's free. It's completely free. All you have to do is download an app called Magic Eraser. They do make you watch an ad usually right when you open the app. It's usually no more than five seconds. It's not a big deal. That's just how they generate their income. Instead of charging you, they just make you watch a really quick ad. So this is what the app looks like. This is the icon for it. It's just orange with an M being erased. And so I'm just going to pull that up really quick. And so this is the ad that just popped up. So you can just click that X right there. Sometimes it makes you watch one for five seconds before the X will pop up. And then um, I just created this image right here that says remove background. And that's what I'm going to use to show you how this works. So right when you select an image, it gives you the option to crop that image. So you can do a custom crop down here, which is what I'm about to do. Or you can select one of these ratios if you know uh, the size that you want your crop to be, um, you can select one of those ratios, but I find it's just easier to do a custom crop, especially for digital stickers. So to do a custom crop, I just have that selected. So I'm just gonna move my box as close as I can to my image. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna select done. If you don't even need to crop your image at all, you can just skip this step completely by selecting done. So now it's just left me with this, and now I just wanna get rid of all of that white. So to get rid of the white background, I'm just gonna click on it, and it takes it away, but it leaves behind the white that's within the letters. So in order to get rid of that, I can just zoom in and then click on each of those white spaces. And if you mess up, it's not a big deal. Like if you accidentally hit a letter or something, it'll erase it, but then you can just come up here and click on that and it'll undo what you just did. And you can click that as many times as you need to. So I'm just removing all of my white and I believe that got it. Okay, so that got rid of all of my white space. So now I wanna save this image. So to save it, I'm gonna select this box right here and I wanna save the PNG because that's the one with the transparent background. So I'm gonna click there and I prefer to save my images as high resolution so they're better quality. Um, so I'm gonna select high resolution and now I'll show you how you can just pull it into GoodNotes. Let me pull up my planner. And I would just import it like I would any other image. When you save it from Magic Eraser, it saves it to your camera roll. So I'm just gonna go to my photos. And see right here, it looks like I have just a black rectangle, but that actually just means that the, um, the image itself is black and then the background is transparent. So it shows up as a black rectangle right there, but then when you bring it in, you'll see it has a completely transparent background. So now you can just size that and use it as a sticker. So that's how you do it. It's really simple. Make sure to contact me if you have any questions at all and I'm happy to help. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more digital planning tutorials and digital plan with me videos. And check out my website naptimealt.com where there's tons of planner related freebies that you can download now.